Okay, so on this on this on this part, as I mentioned earlier, so when the customer asks for a refund return, so what we do the first step when we receive an email like this from eBay say a response to a request, so to a return request. Step two, that that's the first step we, we we've received an email from eBay that the customer is asking for his refund. All right, to return the product. So what we do the first thing is. Uh, we send him an email and we want to figure out why he want to return the product. So what we do is, their value customer, we send him a very simple email saying their value customer. So we're asking him like, what can we do about your product? Like, we're trying to not return the product because it's a, it's a, it's a hassle and, and it's, it's more easier to, to know what is the issue with the product. Okay, so I send him an email and ask him what we can do about it. All right, so he replies and says, there is a problem there. Okay, so since he said that, he might be lying, but what I'm going to do is to figure it out. Okay, see, so the customers, thank you for your reply. So just because he, he might say it's broken, but it's not broken. So if I issue a refund or return, so he's going to keep the product and the money. So what I did on the on, the, on this email, I said to send us a, the photo of the, the, the issue, the, the broken part, as he says, as he mentions. So here you can see here, he said, I hope you got the photo. So he sent us the photo so I can see it. The, the, the product is broken, so it's good. So as long as it's broken, so as long as he doesn't keep the product, then it's fine. So we're gonna go ahead for the next next step. So here, he sent me a photo of the broken part, okay? So what I'm gonna do the next step is, I'm gonna go to Amazon and request a return, as usual. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and choose the product that I purchased earlier. So what I'm gonna choose here, why are you uh, returning this? And I'm gonna choose uh, uh, the response. So we always, guys, remember that we choose the same uh, same response response as uh, our customers. If the customer is saying that they are no longer needed, I mean, it's really, really that they're gonna ask the re refund for 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 the product that they don't need it. So we don't accept that. But I, most of the time, I use the item defect or it doesn't work. Okay, that's more easier if the product is broken actually and see the, the photo. So that's very important. So what I do, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose item defected, defected or it doesn't work. Very simple, so comment, I am required to write something. So what I'm gonna do is uh, the, the product is, is broken from, from the head. Hey, that's it. Is or is broken. That's it. And then I keep and click continue. So continue. Yeah. Okay. So that's the the the, the 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 part from Amazon. All right. So Amazon, what they do? They send me an email. They say that hello. That's a return summary here. Okay. So what are you gonna do in this step? You're gonna copy the 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 the, the, the tracking number which is there. So you're gonna copy the trans the tracking number and the barcode as a photo because it's a GPG. So you can copy it and send it to the customers by email, all right? So as soon as you send it by email, so what we're gonna do is to take an email and uh, upload the photo which is we received from, from Amazon, upload it there and then upload with the tracking number so they know that the, that the product was shipped. Um, all right, here we go. So what I did is I sent him, the sending customer, uh, you, uh, you can see here, you, you sent a return ship label. So here, return started, I accepted. Second thing, item shipped. So the customer is actually shipped the product. And later on, I received this, item is delivered. So delivered to Amazon. All right, so when it's delivered to Amazon, next step is Amazon received the product. Here we go, bingo, so I received my refund. Thank you for sending, <coughs> sorry, the item back. You return. Uh, complete because okay, so you can see here that the, the, the refund is 20, $28. All right, so since I got the refunds, what I'm gonna do next is bingo. So, refund your buyer when the item is delivered, and then you can inspect it, and then you can <coughs> refund the buyer. Here is delivered, you receive it. So, here the email that we've received and saying that our, uh, our tracking information shows that the return has been delivered. So the product is delivered in eBay. They've seen it because we've uploaded the product, the tracking number. Please inspect and return by the 5th of March, 6th of March, sorry, to, to, to issue a refund. All right. So next step, when we receive that, that, that email, what we can do is click refund here, click 
refund. Cool. There we go. So when we click refund, that the product, the, the refund is, is, is gone. So what we're going to do is send an email to the customer. Our objective is to get a positive feedback. So the email is as below. Dear customer, thank you for sending the product back. And we are, are truly sorry for the trouble caused. We have issued you a full refund. I'm just trying to copy and paste what Amazon saying, but I'm just making it more nicer and stuff. We have issued you the full refund. Again, thank you for choosing us. And we hope we made you uh, a satisfied customer. If so, kindly provide us with the positive feedback about our customer service because we did, I didn't speak about the product. Product is broken. So if I spoke speak about the product, that the product will be like, oh, what the hell? Negative feedback. This guy is, you know, crazy asking us for feedback and the product is broken and it snapped me on the hand. So I didn't do that. So I did kindly provide us with the positive feedback about our customer service. Cool guys, so uh, as you see, it's very simple steps to, to handle a refund, right? So uh, I handled it very well. So the customer, even though the, the product was broken and then he had to give us a positive feedback, which is amazing, which is beautiful. That's why I always tell, tell uh, dropshippers, sellers uh, all over the platform, guys, you have to take care of your customer service if you want, if you want your, your, your store and your business to go uh, further and with no issues uh, as um, Andre one of the biggest dropshippers that he was mentioning in one of the video that's one of his uh, his stores was suspended because of uh, uh, late delivery and lack of customer services because his VAs were they were playing round or something so I remember that the video he was talking about that that his account suspended just because of of that lack of customer service so it's very really important take care of your customers the customers will take care of you so it's very really easy steps i got my refund and he got his refund and we're both happy with positive feedback all right so this is the way how to handle your customer service keep it up all right and thank you very much for watching my videos and see you on another video see you when i see you peace out